In this video, we'll talk about how to use the Palace Android app to check out ebooks and audiobooks. The Palace Project is a platform that gives you access to thousands of digital titles from different publishers and sources, all for free through your local library. Palace is available for both Android and Apple phones and tablets. First, find the Palace Project app in the Google Play Store and install it. When you log into the app, it will explain the steps to take to start using it. Let's walk through these steps. First, you'll be prompted to add your library. If you can't find your library, search for Palace Bookshelf where you can access thousands of free books. Let's add a library. Type the library name or scroll through the list to find it. After you select your library, you will see their catalog of ebooks and audiobooks. Select a book you're interested in and select Get to check it out. Next, enter your library card barcode number and password. If you already use your library's website or apps for digital resources, you should already have a password. Enter that now. If you don't know your password, contact your library. If you see an option that says Don't have a library card and a button that says Create card, this means your library requires you to create a separate virtual card to use the Palace app. Click Create Card to create a virtual card. You must have location services enabled while creating your virtual library card. You can turn it off when you're done. Let's explore the app. Your library's name is always at the top of the screen. Select it to go to your library's website. If you added more than one library, select the Palace logo in the top left of the app to toggle between libraries. Let's look at the four menu options, Catalog, My Books, Reservations, and Settings. We are already in the Catalog tab. This is where you can find books. Select My Books to view the books you have checked out, see how long you have left on each loan, and return a book early if you don't want it anymore. Next, let's look at the Reservations tab. If you want to check out a book that isn't currently available, you can reserve it and it will be listed here. Check this tab to see when it becomes available so you can check it out. Select Remove to take a reserved item off of your account. Select Settings to manage your library information and see the privacy policy and other documentation. Now let's talk about how to use the catalog to find books. At the top, you can select to show only ebooks, only audiobooks, or all books. Browse the genres to find something that interests you. Some genres have subgenres. Select one to see a list of books. You can filter and sort the list using the options at the top of the screen. Audiobooks are noted with a red headphones icon. Tap a book to see more information. You can also search for books using the search bar. Type a book title, author, or keyword. Select Get to check out the book. To read a book, go to My Books to see a list of your books. Select Read or Download to be able to read a book. Swipe left or right to move forward or backward. To bookmark the page you're on, select the bookmark icon. Select the Table of Contents icon to jump to a specific section. You can also access your bookmarks from here. Select the gear icon to change the font type, contrast, font size, and brightness. To listen to an audiobook, select the Listen button. An audio player will open inside the Palace app where you can play the book. When you open the app for the first time, you will be prompted to add a library. But you can add or remove a library at any time by going to Settings and selecting Libraries. 
To add a library, select the plus sign. Note that you will not be prompted to enter your library card and password until you check out a book, but you can enter that information at any time by going back to settings and selecting the new library you just added. To delete a library, select the three dots next to the library you want to delete and select Delete. To update information about your library, select the library. Here, you can change your barcode number and password, sign in and out, sync your bookmarks across all your devices, or report an issue. You should now have a good idea of how to use the Palace Android app. For more information, visit thepaliceproject.org.